Hello, and thank you for watching The Righteous Kitchen, a cooking and baking blog found at www.therighteouskitchen.blogspot.com. Today we are making a recipe for meatloaf, and it'll also double as a recipe for meatballs. Now this recipe was shared uh, from my daughter. She got this in her home economics class in high school. And I just tweaked it a little bit. Uh, and now it's a family favorite recipe. So now it starts off using uh, lean ground uh, turkey breast. I just got that in the, in the uh, mixer here. But it's lean turkey breast that's ground. And if you've seen any of my videos, you know that I always uh, fortify it to give it a flavor of beef. So I have three pounds of ground turkey. So I'm gonna put in three tablespoons of ground mushroom powder. And then I'm also gonna put in three tablespoons of kitchen bouquet browning and seasoning sauce. Now what this is gonna do is take the gamey turkey taste out of the meat and it's going to flavor it uh, you'll just think that you are eating beef all right so it's going to be a healthier option for you now that being said if you don't think that you could eat the turkey this way then just by all means use what you do like and then i'm also have eight ounces here of fresh ground pork all right there's no seasonings in it you could get a, a breakfast sausage would be good in here or if you want italian meatballs you can do an italian sausage so i'm just going to blend this on the mixer i find that using the mixer uh, incorporates that powder and the seasoning sauce so i want it all mixed in there really well And this is a good way to clean the beater. You just drop the bowl down and on slow, just clean your beater and then give it another uh, quick mix. All right, so we're gonna clean the beater one more time. And we're just going to put the other ingredients in. So we have our um, oatmeal. Now I'm making a double recipe. So this is a half a cup of quick oats. This is not the time to use any other oats. I just want a quick oat. And then I have uh, a half a cup of green bell pepper, a half a cup of red bell pepper, and a half a cup of onion. And that's a fine dice. We're going to put that in. And we have four large eggs, slightly scrambled. So those are going in. And we have four tablespoons of butter, uh, room temperature so that it'll mix in here. This was something new that I hadn't done before, was use the butter. And then she also uses so we have a tablespoon of lemon juice. This was a new addition for me. And then I also have a tablespoon of parsley and a tablespoon of my righteous seasoning. And that mix can be found on my blog spot. So we're gonna put that all in here and we're gonna mix it. Just mix it on a low and get everything combined. I'm going to clean 
in the beater. And give it another mix. Now is the time to use your gloves. At least I like to use gloves in the kitchen. And then I have two uh, loaf pans and I put them on a baking tray. I always cook on a baking tray. Um, sometimes these old time uh, loaf pans will actually leak where, it's, where the seam is. So. You don't want to take any chances. So I'm going to clean the beater. Now if you wanted to make meatballs, you could also just roll them into meatballs. But we're going to make a meatloaf. We haven't uh, had meatloaf in a while. So, like I said, this is a double recipe, so I'm just going to take it and put it right into the loaf pan and smash it down. Now, if you didn't want to use a loaf pan, if you didn't want to use a loaf pan, you could just line your tray with foil and then just make one big loaf right on the foil. And the foil would help you um, for easy cleanup. So we're just pressing this mix in here. Press it as good as you can. This is gonna, um, this will bake and then when it gets done, I'll take them out of the pan and burn them onto the tray and then I'll put the barbecue sauce on them. trying to even them out here. I think we got it now. All right. So those are done. Let me take off the gloves and then I'll give you a close up. So that went together really quick. We had all of our items prepped. And then we just mixed it in the mixer. And now uh, we'll put it, we've got an oven heated to 350. So we will stick them in there. And then we will be back to show you uh, the final product. So stay tuned. Okay, it's been about an hour and 20 minutes since I put the meatloaf in the oven and so I'm going to bring it out and kind of give it a look over. Okay, these look done and I, I want to go ahead and sauce them but I don't I want to I'm going to invert them in this pan and then and then sauce them. So, so we got our roasting pan. I'm going to put a sheet of foil. I'm 
I'm going to cover the pan. Now it's hot, so we're going to use our gloves. All right, so we're going to invert the, and I'm not really worried about, there's not a lot of grease that comes off of this. So I'm just going to flip it over. If it comes out of the pan, probably not. Okay, going to have to run a knife through it. It doesn't have all that grease that the hamburger has where it would just slide out of the bowl. So we'll just run the knife across the sides. Okay. Let's try that again. There we go. Now we did have some stick to it, so I'll just get that out with the spatula. Just get it out with the spatula and put it back where it belongs. <laughs> and that's okay, these kind of things happen when you're cooking. It's really nothing to get uptight about. Or you, you could even just leave it in the pan. But I like to kind of bring it out. I like the shape of it. And then I can get more of the sides. So I'm not really too worried about all that kind of stuff. So we'll see. And I'm not worried about this pan right here with that uh, juices in it. All right. So let's see if this other one is going to come out. Same thing, it's stuck a little bit. Now remember, you could line this with parchment if you wanted to. So you wouldn't have any issues. And I might make a note to do that next time. Now look how juicy this meatloaf is. You could already tell it's nice and juicy. There we go. Nothing that we can't fix. And you know, I could edit this out and make it make you think it was perfect, but I'm not gonna do that. These, we need to know how to overcome these little obstacles. Okay, so when I did my barbecued ribs recipe, I like to use uh, two barbecue sauces. I like the Vitex barbecue sauce. And that you can order online at their website. It's um, out of Waco, Texas. I like that because it has a nice vinegary, tangy uh, taste to it. But then I also like Sweet Baby Ray's because it has a nice, sweet, uh, reminds me of like a Kansas City uh, barbecue sauce. So I like that sweet and tangy. So I just drizzle on uh, both of these a little of each. Or a lot of each or how, however much you want but just slather it on there and let it roll down the sides because that's one of the reason we inverted this is we want the sides covered too so just slather that all around And then put a generous amount of this Vitex on here and slather it all around. So this is really why I take it out of the, the pan because I want the sides glazed.
And then when you get extra sauce, you could just have it with your vegetables or your mashed potatoes. Extra sauce is never a bad thing. So we're gonna put this all over. We're just smothering it, basically. Now you don't, you could use less. I know this is a little crazy, but you do what you do and I'll do what I do. All right, there we go. This is gonna go back into the oven um, it's at 350. You could actually put it on a low broil and let it get sticky. So that's what I think I'm going to do. And I've got the roasted potatoes in there right now. And since they went at 350, they're going to get a little broil. Also, get them browned up really good. All right, so back in the oven this goes. Okay, and whenever you're broiling, so we are broiling right now. So whenever you're broiling, just kind of hang tight right by the stove or the oven and keep an eye on things. You want to keep a close eye whenever you're broiling. So I will check back in just a few minutes and let you know how this all turned out. Okay, so we've got the uh, meatloaf in there. It's on a high broil, and it's in the meat, meat, uh, middle of the oven. And we're just waiting for that top to get nice and bubbly and sticky. And then all the sauce that's in the pan there is cooking, and those juices are all coming together. So if I would have made uh, mashed potatoes, that would have went uh, on top of the potatoes. A nice little barbecue gravy situation. So this is about to come out of the oven, and let me bring that out right now. Okay, so we have the uh, meatloaf with the glaze, and it hit under that broiler. You got a nice sticky coating. So we're gonna just let this rest a few minutes, and I will um, slice it up and serve it with those roasted potatoes. We are back and I have plated up this meatloaf and put it on a tray and I surrounded it with the roasted vegetables. So we've got a really nice uh, dinner. So I wanna plate it up for you, but look at this, you got the zucchini, the tricolored potatoes, the uh, crookneck squash, the small cherry tomatoes, the pearl onions, and the okra. A nice, beautiful, healthy dinner. So just let me put it on the plate for you. So we're just gonna uh, when the meatloaf is warm, I like a, a generous uh, slice. That way it's not going to fall apart on you. So just do that. There we go. And then, if you're especially hungry, put another slice to go with it. that and then come in and get some vegetables and 
then I'd like to get some extra barbecue sauce. So let me go over there and grab some of that. I would just come in here and just give a drizzle right over your meatloaf. How gorgeous is that? Healthy turkey meatloaf. It's not going to taste like you use turkey. It's going to taste just like beef, roasted potatoes, and other vegetables and a nice uh, hit of that barbecue sauce so i'll come over here and give you a close-up and then we'll be done there you have it meatloaf and roasted vegetables. Too pretty to eat. Thank you for watching The Righteous Kitchen. If you like this video, please hit subscribe and share it with your friends. Thank you.